everyone, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I was feeling kind of fall holiday inspired for this painting tonight. So I'm using maroon and green and I am using a pearl copper gold as well. And I'm using a base that I've never used before. So this is um, titanium buff light hue. So it's got really like a almost yellowish tint. It's really creamy. And I thought it would go really well with the maroon and the green. I also have my paint stands ready for pre-order. Now what that means, they're not gonna be here for a few weeks, but I only ordered a certain amount. So um, if you want to get a set then and be ensured that you get a set, um, you can go ahead and purchase them through my Etsy store and I'll put a link to it down below as well. The price is $28.99 US dollars and shipping in the US is about, about eight to $10 but the shipping international, I am shipping international, but the cost is a little bit more expensive. It's about $25, I think. Etsy will calculate it all out for you based on your area. I'm really excited. I worked a really long time on them. They are to set your you know, boards or canvases, whatever material you're working on. It's to set them on so that they raise the canvas up off the ground and make it a really sturdy surface for you to work on. They also have little push pins in them so that you can secure it to the canvas if you're working on like a really large piece. And then as well, I tested them for resin just very briefly with a thin layer and the resin did peel off of the um, plastic that they're made of as well. So they have multiple uses. I cannot wait for these to get here and to ship them out to you. I hope you like them. I have a lot of stuff coming up soon. I have my two year anniversary on YouTube coming up. And so I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone that is out there. I am planning a relatively large giveaway sometime in the near future, in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that as well. And for the stands, if you want to use the code MOLLY10, I would love to give my subscribers and my viewers 10% off of their purchase as well. So. Thank you guys so much for being here. I, it means so much to me. I've grown so much and you guys have been right here with me. So thank you for that. Let's paint. Okay, hello everyone. So you heard at the beginning um, about the paint stands. So I am very excited for those to happen. And um, it's still gonna be about three weeks. And if you do pre-order, you will it'll be first come, first serve. I only ordered a set amount. Um, the shipping in the US, it looks like from Etsy, it's gonna be around eight or nine dollars, which is not bad. Um, if you are out of country, it looks like shipping, unfortunately, is going to be about as much as the stands. So the stands are $28.99, and you, um, as you heard, can use the code MOLLY10 to get 10% off because I wanted to give something to my viewers and my subscribers. But um, so what I would recommend, if you're willing to pay it, uh, they do last, you know, for a long time. So it is a one-time cost. Um, but it looks like it's about $25 to ship international. Um, if you don't, and the stands are $28.99, but if you don't want to pay that, I can take, um, I can see if I can take individually. If you want to send me an email, I'll link my Etsy and the email down below um, and give me your actual address. I can take it and price it out for you and see. But if you purchase it through Etsy, the shipping is going to be about, I think, $25, $26 if it's going anywhere international. I priced it out to Australia, I priced it to the UK, um, G Germany, different places, and it's it's about the same. It's just how much it weighs. That's just how much it is. So I'm sorry for those, but I am shipping international for that as well. Um, but again, if you 
Um, and also email me if you want multiple sets because then I'll put them in the same box and shipping could be a little bit lower as well. So if you wanna go ahead and buy them on Etsy and pre-order, if you wanna send me an email and I can try to price it out and work with you, at least I have a few weeks before the stands actually come in. Um, so that will be a little bit helpful. They should be in, I was hoping before Christmas, but who knows, okay. Enough with that. I am going to do tonight a, um, a Dutch pour of a blow dryer technique. And I bought a new color from um, Amsterdam. It is called Titanium Buff Light. So it's a really creamy color and I thought it would go really well with the colors that I selected tonight instead of just regular white. So I'm using a plethora of um, actual colors tonight I'm and brands. I'm using Amsterdam's um, Sap Green. Now this is completely transparent um, here, so that'll be interesting to see how that reacts. I mixed together to get, this burgundy is actually very purple, so I mixed together some Carmine and Windsor and Newton Bergen, or, uh, Burgundy to get a, um, a really pretty maroon color. And then I'm using one of my favorites that I love, um, Pearl Copper Gold from Arteza, and I'm using Pearl Deep Brown, and this is a really pretty color too. So I'm not gonna use too much of it because I don't wanna darken it up, but I really like these colors. So let me go ahead and get this base on the canvas, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I have actually done this same painting just a little bit ago with this blow dryer and the jury's still out. I didn't want to make it a video and have people buy it and waste their money um, because I didn't, I liked it, but it, it's not my blow dryer that I normally use. Um, and so I also have some extra attachments that are very thin. I'm gonna try it again with the thin attachment. I'm gonna have to tape it on because it says universal, but it is not. And I'll see if that is what it is because I truly believe it's the air concentrator, the size of it. Mine is extremely thin. And so the air flows out of here much better. This one is thinner than some I've seen, but it is still wide. And so I'm gonna see if maybe the power and the airflow that comes out is okay, but maybe it's just how thin the the um, the mouth is. I have hair everywhere today. <laughs> this has not been my day so far, so. But this maybe will cheer me up because I'm using kind of holiday colors, fall colors, Christmas colors, whatever you wanna call it. I love this vase, by the way. It is so creamy and just a beautiful color. So I'm going to start with the green next to that. I think I'm going to do this in little puddles. And then I'm going to do, I think maybe a little bit of white. I didn't know if I was going to add white or not, but I am. And I don't want too much, but I do want this, I want a couple sides to flow off the canvas and a couple sides to stay kind of bloomed out. That's that's what's in my head. We'll see if that actually happens. So I'm gonna do the brown in the center. The brown looks a little thin. I can tell because it's starting to spread out. Ooh, so that might that may not be too good. Okay, it doesn't look like much yet, but. Let's see if this works. I really feel like I want a little bit more green. I really like that green color. And it's transparent, so let's see what happens there, right? And I love this. I'm gonna spiral right into the center. Okay, I'm gonna torch it. And I think I will, I'll at least put some where I'm going to blow out a little bit more. Oh, that was a lot more. A little bit over here. Okay. And 
maybe I'll just blow the colors over each other and see if I get a similar cell reaction using a different metallic. Oh, oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just gonna blow out from here. Okay, I'm gonna stop blowing because I really liked it. I just don't like this one little, I don't like that one little part right there. I may fiddle with that. I kind of like this just, I said I was gonna go off the edges here, but I kind of like it as just a big centerpiece. I love the colors, the cell reaction in this is crazy. Okay, the only part I want to fix is this little tiny piece right here. And the way I do that is I just, right where I want to go, just dab just like that. And I think I even have enough underneath here. shouldn't have used my finger. I've had some type of oils or something on my fingers lately and it's been resisting the canvas, but. I really just want this part right here blown out. Let me not get my hair in it this time. I got my hair all in one or the other. I'm telling you, this has not been my week. Do you guys have those weeks? No, I kind of like it just like this. Oh, I feel like I got my hair in it because I can, I'll see it when I edit the video, I guess. I'm just running my finger along it right here and that's how you kind of get rid of that little part. There you go. Wow. I think it's really pretty. I'm going to leave it like a flower. I'm, you guys should be so proud of me. I'm going to leave this one as it is. Yeah, I think I'm done. Let me show you. Okay, so this one is actually still kind of wet. I don't know if you can see, uh, you can see in there, it's still kind of wet. Um, the layer was kind of thick on it as well. You can see it's wet right there still. But it's staying in place for the most part. I can't leave it up here for too long. I've got to put it back down. It spread out like crazy. And I think it was the brown. So I'll post it on my social media when it's fully dry, but the brown was too thin. If you end up getting, see how it's almost, I mean, I think it'll be pretty because of the shimmer, but it's almost muddy there on the end. I mean, it could just be that it's brown, but the, let me see if I can get you to a good part. The cells in it are really pretty. It's just, the brown was too thin, I think. But I love the concept and I love the colors. I might try another one of these, the green and that maroon that I made. It's just beautiful together. 
So yeah, something just kind of holiday, festive, didn't have to be perfect. I just wanted to try something different. That right there is my favorite. Do you guys see it? That little, oh, gorgeous. I love that color combination. So I'll post it when it's fully dry and yeah, to be determined on this one, but love the colors, but that brown, it just spread a little too much for me, but still something fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yep. Happy painting. Bye.